What's going on YouTube? In this video, I got one of the quickest blitzes for you in Madden 22 right now. This blitz is fast because you're going to be sending in cornerbacks damn near at the linebacker position. The play we're talking about is Dime 236 under Smoke 2. You can find this play out of the 3-4, the Baltimore Ravens, Broncos, Lions, Chargers, Patriots, Jaguars, Packers, Rams, and Steelers defense. Uh, really, really good defense. I'm going to show you how to set it up, and you're going to get some pressure to the quarterback really quick on top of that, having decent coverage out there guarding the receivers and tight ends. So let's go ahead and jump into the practice field and show you how we set this defense up. All right, the offense we're going to be going against is a very popular offense. A lot of people use it, including myself. A lot of good plays out of it. And on top of that, we're going to be blocking the running back. So the running back's going to be blocking, so you get the full effect, even if they decide to try to block the running back. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how we set this play up. First thing you're going to do is show blitz. The way you do that is Y and then left with the left stick. And then from there, you're going to quarterback contain. The way you do that is RB and then RB again. And then what you're going to want to do with this guy every single time, sometimes he's going to be lined up, lined up out here. Sometimes he's going to be right here. But every single time, no matter what formation they're in, you're going to want to bring him up to the deal, uh, right next to the defensive end right here. This is where you want him, somewhere around here. It'll be different sometimes. You're not going to be able to get him perfect every time, but make sure he picks up the quarterback contain. That's the most important part. And then from there, the next thing you're going to do is slant your D-line in. The way you do that is left with the D-pad and down with the right stick. And then uh, you're going to be using this guy right here. Now, there's going to be different things that can happen. But one thing for sure, this guy right here on the quarterback contain, he's a cornerback. Both the guys on the contains are cornerbacks, and that's why I like to call this a fast blitz, because you can put, you know, your fastest guys at this position. Um, but this guy right here is going to get in freely 99% of the time. The It's going to do that little glitch where the running back doesn't pick him up and he just lets him run around him. Um, but there is going to be times where this guy on the right side is going to shoot in freely. Um, and that's why I like to put him a little bit back because the, what's going to happen is the right tackle is going to pick up the defensive end and then the, the left, the right guard is going to pick up either my bluff blitz or the guy, the defensive tackle in front of me. And what that does is that's going to allow that defensive, uh, the cornerback to shoot right in the gap. And that's when it's the quickest blitz, but that doesn't happen every single time. You got to mess around with your user and where you bluff blitz to get that to happen. Sometimes I can get it to happen. Sometimes it doesn't. But the one thing you're always going to be able to count on is the left side defense, uh, the left side cornerback on the quarterback contain. He's always going to get in. And on top of that, you, you got decent coverage. You got six guys in coverage. That's five, including yourself. So let's go ahead and let them run the play and watch what happens. Um, and you can mess around with the defensive line, like you, you could slant them right. Maybe that gets it going to where you could uh, get that right guy to shoot in. Let's let's go ahead and try that. It's something I'm still working with, but I know for certain the the left side defensive uh, quarterback contained cornerback is gonna get in. Let's go ahead and let them run the play and watch what happens. I know that was a lot of talking, but I, it's just things that need to be said. Um, let's go jump into the replay so you can see what just happened. So like I said, no matter what, the, the cornerback on that quarterback contained to the left is always gonna get in. Watch what happens. The running back, he just goes around the running back. And then on top of that, you can see 42 broke off. It, it's, it doesn't take, I mean, he's got a little bit of time to make a pass, but you can see we got six guys in coverage. We got really good coverage out there. And it, he has that effect where he just goes around the running back and he's gonna be able to get the sack or make a, create a bad pass, get the uh, quarterback sprinting out the pocket. That's always gonna happen. I'm gonna try to get it to where that guy shoots into the right side but for sure you're always going to get this with the quarterback contained on the left side i just want to put that out there i know i did a lot of talking before i ran the play but i think it's just things that you need to hear to make sure you get the play right let's go ahead and run it a few more times set the play up the same way it does not take long to set this play up i already got it set up you can have it set up before the offense even lines down we'll try some different things we'll put the the user right here in bluff blitz and see what happens I really want to see, I want I want y'all to see what it looks like when that guy shoots in. Um, and that's something that I should pick up in the middle of the field. That's my user. Mind you, I'm not paying attention to the receivers and their routes. I'm so focused on the blitz and seeing if it's going to work the way I want it to. Um, but that's going to be your job. Once you have the defense set up, your job is to focus on the middle of the field, pick up whatever you can, and just let the blitz do its thing. Let's go ahead and set it up one more time. We'll, we'll run it a couple more times. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it to where... We get this guy in. Um, we'll try different things. 
what you know it and when you're in the practice field you know slant the d-line to the left slant it to the right maybe you can get it i, I know what i'm talking about you'll see what I'm, I'm gonna try to get it to go uh let's see if we can get it right here though nah, that's not what we want but he did get around the right side he did get around the right side so you got two guys coming around and they're both cornerbacks even if you got lamar jackson back there you got a good chance of stopping them because you know you got some decent speed right there Let's see if we can do some different things right here. This is somewhat still fresh to me. I played a handful of games with it though and got a lot of sacks just from that left side cornerback coming in on that quarterback contain. Really good defense, I really do like it. And you can see right there, we got somebody else got in quick and that's another thing that can happen. Uh, on the right side, it, you know, it's a flip of a coin. You know, that defensive end could get in, the cornerback can get in. Um, and on top of that, there's so much going on that a lot of times, even the defensive tackle or the other defensive tackle breaks their shed real quick and they get in just because there's so much going on for the o-line to worry about um but just try different things i think the uh, the most success i've had by getting that guy in is putting my linebacker right here and just letting them bluff blitz and it usually opens up that right there that's the blitz i'm talking about my bad with the phone call let's jump into the replay real quick and you can see what i'm talking about but that guy getting in the right side if you can get it down and you go into the practice mode and you can learn which way to slant your D-line and put your linebacker. But this is what I was talking about. We get in freely right there. That's a quick blitz. It's a cornerback coming right in. And you can see our left side cornerback also got in. If you try to sprint out the pocket, you're most likely going to walk down. But this is what I was trying to show y'all right here. It just right there, I slanted my D-line in and I put my linebacker in the middle. Maybe that's the move. But uh Every time on the right side, like I said, it's going to be a flip of a coin. But if you can get it down like this, this is going to be a deadly blitz. And you can see I'm in the backfield. Everything's pretty much bagged up. He can try to make a pass. I could easily lurk that little drag route. 87 is not ready for the pass. Neither is 13. And we're right there in the quarterback's face. He's trying to make the pass right there, but it's too late. Bad pass because the blitz has got it. It got in so quick right there. Let's run it a few more times. See if we can get those same results with that right side. Like I said, that side is going to be a flip of a coin. It's, it's placement with where you put the guy in the quarterback contain. It's placement where you put your user. But I'm going to keep repeating. The most important part is that left side is always going to get in. And that's the important part. That's what we want to make sure we get. Let's see if we can get it again. I think I want to say I slanted my D-line to the right. Let's do that and see what happens. Yeah, we might have done that. Let's see what happens right here. There it is. I think we might have found it. We got the guy on the right side of blitz in right there freely. And what it was, was instead of slanting my D-line in, I slanted it to the right. Let's try it one more time. Hold on, hold on. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and let them run the play real quick. I made a, 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 an extra adjustment I didn't mean to make that I wasn't trying to make. Let's, let's do that one more time. All right. Show blitz. Bring them up. Slant the D-line to the right. See, we get the same results. Maybe that's the move. Slant the D-line to the right. And it looks like it is. He's getting in every single time. But if you're ever wondering how we come up with these plays, you know, this is what we do. We work. We switch up, you know, which way the D-line goes. We motion the linebackers over. And that's how you get these plays to start working for you. So y'all kind of got in the mix with me in the lab, fit, learning it again. Uh, but the most consistent part is, like, let's jump into the replay. Uh, that That's a quick blitz right there. Right between the right tackle and the right guard, he's in there, and that's a cornerback. Imagine if you have like a 95, 96 speed cornerback, or at Mutt, you get a 99 speed cornerback right in there like that, that's game over. Um, and on top of that, left side always getting in every single time the left side gets in, and that's just what's making this blitz that good. I, I've been having a lot of success without even the right side, but now that I'm getting the right side down and understanding how it's gonna come into the right side now, it's just gonna make the blitz even that much better for me. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. A couple of important things about this defense. You can run this against multiple shotgun formations. It doesn't have to be this one. Now against other shotgun formations though, don't necessarily count on that right side to get in how we're getting in right here, but you're gonna for sure be able to count on that left side cornerback. Um, he'll get in, like I said, about 99% of the time. It's, it takes, it, it's, it's not the quickest blitz with him getting in, but if you can get that right side getting in consistently against different shotgun formations, then your money. But like I said, it's mostly consistent with the left side. That was the most important part. One, because he gets in every single time, and two, because he's a cornerback. Um, so he's going to get in with some speed. If you try to you know, get outside the pocket, most likely he'll be able to run that cornerback down. But like I said, that's going to be it for this play. Hope y'all enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it.